Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to go through all the plants that I picked up since the beginning of this year. If you guys recall, a couple of weeks ago, I was at Valley View Gardens and uh, I did a bit of a plant tour there as well as obviously, I ended up taking home some plants. I think a couple of weeks before that, I was also at Plant World and I also picked up a few plants there. So in total, I think I'm about six or seven plants in so far this year which isn't too bad you know i thought i would be about 10 or 12 by now but i think i want to average maybe five a month we'll see we'll see where that goes but for now i want to show you guys what those plants are if you are following me on instagram you probably have seen some of these on my feed if not be sure to follow me there because that's where i am pretty much every day also if you have not hit that subscribe button i have no idea what you're doing with your life i'm just kidding but be sure to do so and also hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video from crazy plant guy so let's go through the plants I picked up. I'll go through the order I acquired them and I'll also give you guys some of my general care tips on how to care for them when you take home a plant from a nursery because I do have a different way of caring for them. Uh, so we'll start with the, ta-da, the Pink Princess Philodendron. So as you guys know, Philodendrons, uh, most of them are climbing type of plants or vining plants and these guys are quite special and the reason for it is because they are quite rare in nature. Uh, when their leaves do grow out, they start off with this black color and then moves on to this olive green and then they start getting the pink variegation so extremely cool looking plant and again they are the hottest plant around right now and I was lucky enough to actually get my hands on this unexpectedly you know I was uh, getting a haircut and uh, near the place I get a haircut uh, there is a grocery store that sells plants and uh, I remember the weekend before it uh, everyone was going crazy that um, Value Gardens had the pink princess philodendron and they got sold out within minutes so uh, I was surprised to actually find these there and uh, yeah I ended up getting my hands on two of them they only cost me ten dollars so when it comes to caring for your pink princess philodendron and like most philodendrons is they can actually adapt uh, to any lighting conditions although they do prefer to be in a medium to bright indirect light uh, partial shade is also great for them as well and when it comes to watering these guys is they typically like to be watered when they are hundred percent dry although when it comes to plants that are this size or they are more like babies I typically will not let them dry out completely. I will water them when they are about 90% dry. And that goes for any small plants I have like this because um, I, they're so fragile right now and you never want the roots to uh, completely dry out. At the same time, you also don't want the roots sitting in water because that obviously will kill the plant. Uh, but that is how I care for uh, my Pink Princess Philodendron, especially when they are in this size. I think when they are more mature and grown up, I will probably you know water them uh, when they're 100% dry. But for now, I'll do about 90, 95% dry. Now the next plant I got is also another philodendron. It is the uh, the jade satin. So as I mentioned, this was labeled as a philodendron, but to me, it looks more like a pothos and similar to the jade pothos. And the one thing that I like about this particular plant is when you look at the top of his leaves, he's got this kind of tiny variegation to it that almost resembles the uh, the skin of a snake. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And the back of his leaves has this kind of a satin silver shine to it. So that is where he gets the name from, a jade satin. And again, I'm pretty sure this is a pothos, but you know, it was labeled as philodendron. You guys be the judge. Let me know, comment below, and what you guys think this is. It is quite rare because I have not seen this around anywhere and a few of you guys have commented on my Instagram that these are hard to find as well. Like all my pothos, I do prefer to have them in medium to bright indirect light. They tend to thrive really well there, growing nice large leaves and trailing really nicely. So looking forward to see how this guy trails. I probably don't recommend having these guys in low lighting conditions, although they can survive. They probably just won't grow as big or trail as nicely. And when it comes to watering these guys, because he is in a larger container, I will wait until the soil is 100% dry before watering this guy. And you know, they can you know, do well in tap or filter water. I think that's one thing about pothos or philodendron is they are so adaptable to your environment. Uh, they don't really, they're not really finicky, unlike a calathea, you know, they don't need high levels of humidity and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so this is the jade satin pothos or philodendron. Which one is it? So the next plant I got is the, ta-da! This one for sure is a philodendron. It is a philodendron Brazil. And man, do I love this guy. And you know, I only recently discovered this plant this year when one of my Instagram followers posted a picture of her philodendron Brazil in the Crazy Plant Guy pot set. By the way, if you have not gotten yours already, be sure to get one. I'll provide a link in the description below. But uh, yeah, this particular plant, I love this guy because first of all, if you look at this color combination of the green and yellow, 
obviously the Brazilian flag colors. Uh, look at how beautiful this thing is together and just the variegation and how it sits and how it trails and the heart-shaped leaves and man this to me is out of all the plants i picked up so far this month i think this is my favorite don't tell the pink princess philodendron that but seriously i love this guy and uh, i don't care if they are a lot more common now but to me this guy is a beautiful uh, plant to have in your collection and I just can't wait for this guy to grow really nice large leaves and trail nicely. So to do that, you want to make sure these guys are in medium to bright and direct light. Uh, they can do well in low lighting, but again, you know, they probably won't trail nicely or grow large leaves. So make sure you have them in medium to bright and direct light. And again, when it comes to watering, I'll typically wait till the soil is dry before I water these guys. But I'm so excited for, about this guy. And, and yeah, it is definitely a must have plant. So the next plant I got is the ta-da! Red Imperial Philodendron, another philodendron as well. Uh, but unlike most philodendron that trail or vine, this is actually a, a self-header, which means they uh, grow their leaves from one single stem. So why I picked this up is because, first of all, I, I thought it looked really cool with the uh, kind of the orange red with the green um, leaves on it. So, and I actually seen a larger red imperial or even a green imperial philodendron and I thought it looked really cool and majestic. So I'm looking forward to see how this guy grows up. But uh, similar to you know the jade satin or the Brazil, is I typically will have these guys in medium to bright indirect light and water when the soil is 100% dry. Uh, obviously, not probably my favorite philodendron right now, but I'm actually excited to watch this guy grow up and see how he'll look. But uh, yeah, so the next plant I got is the ta-da! It is not a philodendron; it is a Sansevieria samurai, and honestly. Besides the whale fin, I think this is my favorite uh, Sansevieria and I love the way this guy is shaped and uh, he's got these like sharp points to it. So I actually want to get a really large one but I'm going to see how big I can get this guy. Um, this is actually my second uh, Samurai. I got a really baby one but when I saw this guy I had to get it and you know Sansevieria are snake plants. You guys know, very, very easy to care for. You can pretty much, you know, survive in any lighting condition, but I prefer to have these guys in a medium uh, uh, indirect light. And really, they require infrequent watering and little watering, so easy to care for. I think I might take this guy to the office. Uh, but yeah, the Sansevieria Samurai. So that's pretty much it. Uh, oh wait, I did get one more. Uh, the Baby Monstera. So this guy I got because I want to add more plants in my office and you know, he's obviously a baby plant. It's gonna take a long time before he shows any signs of split leaves. But you know, the one thing I do enjoy about uh, owning baby plants is watching them grow and uh, thrive under your care. Similar to the Pelia when I got you know him about two years ago, which was, you know, pretty much this size. And obviously you can see, if you guys recall, he's a pretty big guy now. And uh, yeah, so this baby Monstera, you know, similar to the baby pink princess philodendron is I will typically make sure they get a lot of bright and direct light. And I will only water, you know, when the soil is about 90% dry or 95% dry, you know, I never want to let them dry out completely uh, before watering. But uh, yeah, those are all the plants I picked up so far this year. And we'll see where the rest of the year takes us. It is only the beginning of February, but by the way things are going, you know, I'm probably going to need a bigger condo or get rid of some furniture like my couch and my bed because who needs that anyway? I'm just kidding. But if you guys have any questions about any of the plants I picked up, be sure to comment below and ask away and I'll try and get Get to them as soon as I can. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy your weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Hey guys, be sure to check out my website crazyplantguy.xyz. I'll provide a link in the description below, but you'll find all my video and Instagram content there, a few blog content, as well as my shop, which I'm excited about. Again, I just want to say thank you for all the love and support. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.